We're 15 miles from Jindalup. We've got a full tank of gas, half a packet of cigarettes. It's not dark outside, so we're wearing our sunglasses. And we're here to talk to Paul about his Blues Brothers mobile. Hit it. All right, Paul, um, we met you before at Northern Steel with the GT40. Yep. Okay, so, and you told us about this Bluesmobile. So, tell us a bit more about this car. Uh, the Bluesmobile, well, it's an exact replica, uh, yep. although it's a 76 model where the Bluesmobile was a 74. So, I bought it off a guy, I was living in North Queensland, and yep. I saw an ad in the Just Cars, it was. Um, this is about 2012. And... Uh, you know, he had advertised, and I sort of looked at that, and I've always loved the Blues Brothers. Yep. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll have a look at this. So I flew down to Brisbane, and it wasn't it, it wasn't licensed. And I said, well, look, I'm interested, uh, but, you know, a bit risky sort of buying unlicensed. So what if I help you, you know, get it licensed? So we got it inspected and licensed. Anyway, we did a deal. Yep. And I drove it all the way back from uh, Brisbane to Cairns. Okay, you know, nice. Yeah, 1,600Ks, and, uh, yeah, a couple of minor issues on the way back, but... In general, it's good. Obviously, like you said, you're, you've always been a big blues fan. Yeah. Um, you know, and these things are rare to come up. You know, you don't see them very often, especially not a proper replica. Well, I bought it off as actually an American guy. And okay. He, and he bought it off the original owner. So I'm the third owner of this car. Oh, nice. So, uh, yeah, so he bought it. He did the conversion and he did a really good job. Yep. I don't know if you know much about the conversions on these, but, you know, even at the rear, it's got Dodge, but the D's missing. And oh, on, the, okay. on the left front, there's a little bit of patch of primer. And, you know, so he did a really good job. You know, he got the spotlight and all that sort of thing. Yep. So, so yeah, then he gave me all the paperwork. So, so you know, he was the second owner. I'm the third owner. And I've had it since 2000, so 10 years. I was a bit shocked. Actually, I've had it that long now. Yep. Um, yeah, so uh, that's the sort of the history of it. Yeah. Oh, nice. And um, does this thing actually venture out to many car shows or things like that? Yeah, you, you, I think a lot of people have seen us around. Uh, I'll, I'll, we can crank it up later, but I've, what I did is I put an amplifier under the seat and I put two big uh, waterproof speakers under the front. Okay, And, and nice. I've just got uh, the Peter Gunn theme on loop. Oh, okay. And so, yep. and when you crank it up, if we if I crank it up now, we wouldn't be able to talk. It's pretty loud. Yep, fair enough. We'll so, have a look at that later, then. That's for sure. So every time we roll into a car show, uh, we have it cranked up, and of course everyone, you know, wow, look at that. And of course, people love the Bluesmobile. Yep. As far as I'm aware, uh, I saw a static one at Movie World in Queensland, and I know there's another guy imported one, but yep, a lot of people don't know this. So they made this. They made uh, this is a Dodge Monaco. So that's yep. the, that's what the car is. Uh, they actually made them pillarless. Okay, so, yeah. So this is the actual replica of the Bluesmobile. But uh, there is a guy over there who imported one that's pillarless and it looks like the Bluesmobile. So, yeah. you know, it's not quite the same. But uh, but as far as I'm aware, that's that's all there is in Australia. But there could be more, but that's the only ones I've heard of. Wow, okay. Yep, no, nah, this is a perfect bloody car. Like, and, you know, like, it is, like you said, it's an iconic movie. And everyone, everyone like has it. loved it at one stage or another and stuff like that. Well, people so, our age, you know. Well, definitely. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you an example of that. I was at a car show and a kid walks up, look, Dad, a cop car. And he goes, no, son, it's the Bluesmobile. Yep. You know, so, of course, he, he knew what it was, but young kids just think it's an old cop car. So tell us about some of the features on the outside of the car that makes it like, similar to the replica. Well... Well, it's it's pretty well identical, no, no, uh, sorry, yeah. you know. Uh, and I've got a I've got this video I, I I play, and if you have a look at the car, or even if you look at this, yep. you know, the post in the background, yep. you'll see that it's pretty well identical, even to the nudge bar at the front, because you know, of course, the cops in America nudge people, and what, what's yep. that called? There's a manoeuvre it's called. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So he did a he did a great job. So I really haven't touched the car except putting the you know the big speaker in it, and that sort of thing. Um, but it is a, a what's called a Brahm. Okay. Now we all know what a Holden Brahm is, which was the sort of you know upper model. So, yep. so this is a 1976, but it's got cruise control, electric seats, power steering, air con. Nice. All factory. You know, oh, so yeah, it's the yeah. top of the range. Where of course the original Blues Mobile was just the cop car with vinyl wind-up windows, no air con, that sort of thing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So th that's another great thing about it. At least it has all those goodies on the inside. I mean, it's red upholstery, which is a bit weird, but... Yep, yep. But uh, originally the car was white, and he 
so sorry, getting back to it, remember I said that it, this is a 76 model. Yep. So the 76 had flip up headlights. So he actually bought a 74 front end okay. and put that on. So everything else is the same, except he had to put a 74 front on it. Okay, yeah. And it's yep. got a 400 big block instead of a 440. Yep. And it's pretty gutless though, you know, because it is, as they say in the, in the Blues Brothers, you know, it's the one before catalytic converters. Yep. Well, this is the model with catalytic converter, so it makes you know, a lot less horsepower. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, I see you've got the white wall tyres on it and everything like that, which is, like you said, just a... Well, that was a bit of a good. mistake, actually, because yep. if you look at the Blues Mobile, it doesn't have white wall tyres. Oh, OK, yep. So when, when I got these tyres fitted, the guy asked me, and I thought, oh, yeah, sure, you know, put the white on the outside, but I shouldn't have done that. But anyway... Uh, I don't know, it still, it still looks good anyway. Yeah. So it's bigger than a Fairlane, LTD Fairlane. So I think it's 5.2. Yeah. 5.2 metres down. Yeah. This would be fun to park in a small shopping oh, centre if you wanted it. it. You know. <laughs> forget going through your drive in at you know, McDonald's or something, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, yep. yeah. You That's wouldn't right. be able to get around the bend if they get around the corner there. The turn no. circle is, is not good. So, you know, yep. that's why they do handbrake turns in the, uh, <laughs> yeah. in the Blues Brothers. You know, <laughs> Easy no, way, to, easy way awesome. to park it, doing a handbrake turn. Yeah, yeah. and I see, like you, know, like you said, with some of the decals you got here. Well, yes, like, know, for example, this... Faded you know, off, but it's still there. And yeah, so what he did is he, he you know, obviously stenciled it on and then yep. sprayed over it because that's what they did in the, yep. in the movie. And, yep. you know, there's, there's no um, badge on the other side yep. because in the movie the badge is missing on that side. And no, I suppose we can't go in the front. <laughs> but, you know, on the front, yep. one of the indicator's lenses was missing. Now, I had to put one in because I couldn't get a license without it. Yep. Um, and I haven't pulled it off again, but um, so just, but he did, a, he did a really good job. Excellent, okay. Did actually get the, uh, the number of plates that were on the Bluesmobile yep. uh, in the movie. But um, of course, you know, you can't use that in WA. So I, I registered Blues Bros. That's the closest I could get to the Blues Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that worked out well. And as, as I mentioned before, to get it licensed, if you look in the movie, this indicator is, is missing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I had to put an indicator in there to get a license. Yeah, otherwise the last thing you want is a defect when you're trying to get somewhere. Exactly. And like you said before, uh, when we were over here, the primer patch that's on the yep. bottom down there, so, so, so that's know, done exactly like the movie as well. Exactly like the movie. You know, the badge, the Monaco badge is missing here, like yep. in the movie. Um, and... The only sort of thing at the rear that's like the movie, as I said before, is that it's got Dodge written across and the D's missing. Yep. So he, you know, he, he did pretty well. I mean, it is pretty well an exact replica of the blues. blues. Yeah, wicked. And all the searchlights work and everything? And um, I, I haven't hooked that up. Okay. I, um, when I bought it, it wasn't hooked up. So yep. I haven't sort of got around to it. And I don't really drive it that much at night or anything. Yeah, yeah. And I think technically it's illegal <laughs> as Yeah, well. fair enough. Then. Interesting, it is perfectly legal to have it. Yep. When I got it licensed, um, actually, when I got a license, I took it off. But um, the guy at the inspection place said, no, that's, that's fine. You okay, know, so I that's all right that then. So it is legal, yeah. No, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'm actually a member of a, a, a Facebook group in Perth called Hollywood Star Cars of WA. Yep, yep. And there's, you know, a guy with a Knight Rider. You know, oh, nice, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, you know, Herbie the Love Bug. Uh, there's a, um, I think they've got a guy maybe with a DeLorean coming in, you know. So oh. this guy, who the guy that runs it, is the um, is the um, night rider guy. Yeah. You know, he's trying to get a few people together with different Hollywood cars. Yeah. You know, which is a good idea. You know, but, but Perth's fairly small, and there isn't a huge amount of people with those sort of cars. All right, let's have a look at this thing. Have a look at the beastie. Yep. Okay. Yep. Definitely a big old donk. Yeah. As I said before, it's a four hundred. Yeah. Um, the, it's the standard. And funny enough, they had a, a four-barrel holly from factory. So that is the okay. factory four-barrel holly. Nice. Um, it's all stock standard. Um, all I've done is I've, uh, I've I got rid of the old compressor for the aircon. Yep. Um, you know, it's the big old what they call an RV2, you know, twin V2 sort of compressor. Yep. And um, put the chrome covers on, put the air cleaner on, and um, that's about it. The big radiator. Um, and that's about it. Well, you need the, the radiator, aftermarket radios, and not some of these oh, old girls, so. Absolutely. I, yeah. I can sit at lights now, aircon going, you know, 35 degree day, doesn't budge. Yeah, yeah so. perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and, you know, uh, the air cleaner looks kind of tiny compared to the rest of the motor. I tell you why. <laughs> I tell you why. 
when I put the, the compressor on, yep. I couldn't fit a bigger one than that. Oh, okay, fair so, enough, then, yep. So that's, that's why it's so small. Nice. So when I bought this car, it had 36,000 miles on it. Now, yep. as you know, these old speedos only have six digits. Yep. So, of course, when you get to 100,000, it clocks back to zero. But if you look at the condition of it, I think they're genuine miles on it. Oh, okay, nice. You know, I, I know you're going to take some footage of the inside, yep. but, um, you know, you just got to look at it. I've got the... Now, everyone talks about the cigarette lighter, you know, you know, fix the cigarette lighter, yep. like John Belushi said in the movie. This cigarette lighter works, and yep. it's never been used. Oh, so okay, it's a brand awesome. new cigarette lighter. Yep. Never touched a cigarette. So that's the advantage, I suppose, of being the third owner. Yep. Um, and, and he bought it off a very old guy. Yep, okay. Who bought it new. Oh, okay, so, we So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's genuine. Well, it's done about 39,000 miles now. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's genuine miles. You know, that's perfect, yeah. So they've definitely kept it to oh. try and keep it as low as possible. I mean, the great, what I, uh, this is what I say to my friends, you know, they got, you know, a friend of mine's got a Camaro and, of course, I got the GT4 and you've got to polish them all up and clean them. Yeah, yeah. This thing is supposed to look like crap. You know? Yeah, you're all that so, You don't you know, have to do anything with it. it, it the dirtier it looks, the more... It, the yep. more original it is. Yep. So that's that's one thing I love about it. I don't have to clean it before I go anywhere. Okay. okay. Well, the rule is when you're in the bluesmobile, you have to wear the hat and glasses. Well, that's fair enough. I mean, you know, if you're going to cruise properly, you've got to cruise, cruise in style. Absolutely. So, um, you know, usually when we get out, we take them off. Yep. But, but the rule is no one escapes that rule. Anyone who sits in the bluesmobile has to wear the hat and glasses. Nah, happy to. Happy to. It's wicked. Like this thing is immaculate in here, even though it's like not the like the interior from the Blues no. uh, Brothers itself. But this thing is so comfy, um, and it's very very neat in here. Like you said, it hardly looks like it's been touched. No, no I'm sure it's thirty nine thousand original miles. You look at the hood lining; it's just perfect condition. Look at the the, the, yep. the dashboard. As a, you know, it's electric on this side. You don't get electric on that side. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, cruise control, um, air con, power windows, it, it's just amazing. And everything works. And um, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a real pleasure to drive. And the seats on this thing, like, they, like it looks suite. there. It's like a lounge suite. And it's, there's no rips, there's no tears. It's yeah. just immaculate. Yeah. It's, you uh, know? So, just, so from that point of view, I suppose it's not, you know, the replica of the Bluesmobile because there was a very, you know, like ex-cop car, so they didn't yeah. have any of these features. But, um, but I'd rather have, have the brown with, yeah, with yeah. all the goodies. Yeah, well, that's it. If you're going to travel in style, might as well make sure you are traveling yeah. in style, you know? Absolutely. No, this is perfect. Like, it's just great. And you've got, you've set up your spe aftermarket speaker system, like you said. Yep, so under your seat's a, a big amp. Yep. And uh, this stereo here runs the amp uh, to the speakers at the front. As I said, they're big waterproof speakers. I forget how many watt they are. Okay. Um, did you want me to crank that up? Well, why not? What do you reckon? Let's crank it up. Right. So, it just needs the ignition. So, uh, as I mentioned before, I, I, I bought the car in Queensland. Yep. And uh, I'm from WA originally. And I moved back in 2016. So, about 2015, I was thinking, oh, you know, do I really want to bring the Bluesmobile back? It's big. It wasn't running well at the time, and I thought, ah, oh, you know, I could do with the money, so yep. I advertise it for 30 grand. Anyway, I had this guy, I still remember his name, his name's Lance. Hi, Lance, if you're out there. Yep. <laughs> and he rang me up, and, uh, oh, look, I'm really interested in the Bluesmobile. And I said, look, mate, it's, it's a really good car. I'm the third owner, you know, 36,000 miles on it. Uh, I've got all the fruit, everything works on it. Um, uh, you know, uh, air con, power seats, you know, cruise control, air con, and... Uh, you know, no rust in it. And then suddenly I went, why am I selling this car? Yep. So I, I just I just suddenly just went, oh look, sorry mate, I, I've changed my mind, I'm not selling it. He goes, oh why? <laughs> go, yeah, look, I, look, I've just decided I'm not selling it, it's too good. Yeah, yeah. He goes, oh shit, okay, well look, you know, anyway, if you change your mind, let me know, and, and that was it. So I'm really happy that I didn't sell it. It's yeah, like, well, it's good that you had one of those aha moments before you got rid of it, otherwise, absolutely. You're always going to be one of those regret stories like everyone else we has all, got. Well, we all have those, but I'm glad I don't have one, you know, yep. with, with the Bluesmobile. Because, uh, you know, as you say, I'm a bit of a fan of the Blues Brothers and, uh, you know, this is the sort of shrine to the, uh, the Bluesmobile. And you've got this perfect setup here. It sits perfectly in this corner. Yeah. So, yeah, why would you? Why would I? Yeah, yeah that's so. it. Awesome, mate. Well, look, thanks for showing this one. It's, it's a perfect car. 
And look, I can't wait to see it out at an event oh, yeah. once. And we, we go cars and coffee every month. And perfect. Yeah, could be good hearing that rock up yeah. as you're driving in. So, yeah. yep. Everyone loves it. Sensational. All right, mate. Well, right. let's move on to the next one. No worries. Awesome. Thanks. So, who are you, Bill? Jake or Elroy? Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs>